Hello, and welcome to Mod Archive Story. Or, well, hashtag Mod Archive Story is apparently the official title. Hashtag Mod Archive Story was created by Nicholas Sniffless Nigrin. Lots of credits to Bolitus Desi Belter, DFast, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, and Zepsi for creating additional music for this game. So DFast just did music again. For more information about these artists, visit the real hashtag mod archive, Espernet. Yeah, I have no idea what that was all about, and if it still exists to this day or not, no clue. But on his website, before it was uh, shit-canned, he wrote this, hashtag mod archive games. These are the games that started it all. Hashtag mod archive story and operator status are two predecessors to Within a Deep Forest. They are harder than my other games, but if you're up for a challenge, dot, dot, dot. So, I don't know exactly what that means in terms of difficulty level, but we'll see. And I also don't know how long these two games are, if I can just do both today, or if it's a more, like, mini-series, or what's gonna happen? I don't know. I remember testing this out once again long, long ago, when these were basically added to the site. For a long time, I was very adamantly keeping up with Niflis's website and everything that happened there, checking in and stuff. I mean, I, I kind of still am, but it's been dead for a long time, so, you know, can't really check back now. But if he got it back up again, I would, I would definitely check it out all the time. But I do remember playing this for just a little bit. I think I played this one and not Operator Status, but Operator Status was also sort of familiar when I just tested it out. So, I don't know. I have no idea what is what and what I haven't played, but let's try it out. So, tutorial, start game, erase, save game, and quit. Let's do the tutorial. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely played this and did at least a tutorial and maybe a little bit more. No clue. Welcome to Mod Archive Story. Move left and right by using the arrow buttons. Not arrow keys, arrow buttons. At your keyboard. Not on your keyboard, at your keyboard. Great. You need to jump to reach the right tube. Hold down shift to bounce. So not the uh, A and S of uh, Within a Deep Forest, which I guess kind of refined it a bit more. If you keep holding shift, you will bounce higher until you can reach the top right tube. Yeah? Make your way to any of the, the three tubes at the bottom. Don't hold shift every time you need to jump over a gap. Often it will only make it harder. Whoops. Yep. I didn't even mean to, like, try to get across it. Ooh, damn. Nice to have some music, finally. Here's a tricky one. Make sure you have enough vertical speed before you try and reach the top left tube. I mean, that shouldn't be hard. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Press Alt and Enter to enter full screen mode. When the unexpected happens, you press Home to restart the level, or F2 to restart the game. I see. Well, I guess that's it for the tutorial then. So home... Wait, that's end. Home. Yeah, and then you exit the tutorial. Cool! Alright. Short, sweet, simple. Nice concept. Start game. Oh boy. Here we go. Mod Archive Espernet. The pink ball really wants to become a member of this channel. Not only for the status of being a Mod Archive regular, but also for the eternal wisdom about music the people of Mod Archive has. But does Mod Archive have a place for a pink ball with no musical skill, who have just attempted to compose his first song in Mod Plug Tracker? No. You are that pink ball. To prove yourself worthy of entering Mod Archive, you need either years of musical experience, or simply the guts to beat up four of the evil Mod Archive regulars of doom. Okay. Little bit... lol random. But I guess it was the time for this. This is a very old game as far as I know, like early 2000s, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. When did Knit Stories even come out in Knit? I, I'm not up to date on my uh, Niflis chronology, because like the website went down. So when you check the date for all of the folders and stuff, they're all just from that time when he like re-uploaded everything that he had, I suppose. So... No idea when this was actually originally created or anything, but yeah, let's try it out. Mod Archive Story, one, two, three, I suppose that's 
either the levels or just like the save file you want to use. Yeah, save slot 1 selected. Teleport room, mod archive. So teleport room, these are all closed off? No. Oh, damn. Um, I don't want to do that. Let's restart. If I just go in here and go to mod archive. You've been kicked from mod archive by TMA. Show some skill before you enter here. I see. So we do need to go to teleport room. And now I can go to whichever level I want. So I guess we'll start with this foresty looking thing. That looks like a good beginner level. The Griffin Forest is located on an island in some huge ocean. It is the home of a terrifying dragon named Doragon. Well, that's not on the nose at all. To find Doragon, you must get to the mountain at the middle of the island. On your way, you will face dangers such as Grrrl, the purple swordfish, and Amaryllis, the griffin. Amaryllis is a tiny white bird, not some huge falcon-like creature, which she was supposed to be, if the creator of this game wasn't so lazy. Don't let her size fool you. Once Amaryllis know, know you're there, you don't have a chance to run away. However, if you stay close to the ground, she won't notice you. I see. Interesting. Oh. And that's not an enemy? No. Strange. And if I jump up here... Oh, a bit too high. Stop it. It's kind of hard to control this thing. Very hard to control this thing. Damn it, I just wanna... I guess I can just jump from here. I just wanna get up on this and see if it's anything. And can we go up? No, we cannot go up, only right. Oh, is that Amaryllis? No. That was just a bird, random bird. No, that is Amaryllis, I see! Okay, that's the griffin. And then we press home, because I died. Alright, interesting. So I need to make sure I don't go to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, and that's why these guys can be a problem. Yeah, I need to not go too high. I kind of want to get eaten by this guy just to see what happens. Yeah, just chomp and then you're dead. Okay. Definitely didn't do this part back when I tested it out. This is absolutely new to me. Ah, oh, goddammit. Nope. What? Okay, so apparently if you trigger her, then you're fucked. You cannot, like, just go to a different screen and reset her that way. Oh my god, it's very hard to control. Compared to uh, within a deep forest, it's not at all as... Oh my god, I just... I can't control it! I was just going to the right, and I was pressing left to not go to the right, and I just couldn't control it. That's actually insane. It's a little weird. I guess that's the challenge here. Not actually the game being hard, it's just kind of the controls being hard. Oh my god, I just can't, I can't do it. This is insane. The controls are absurd compared to within a deep forest. Because there's, like, no way to really... Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. You can't fine-tune your controls at all, like you can in Within the Deep Forest. There we go, finally. Cool, okay. Guess we're gonna be here a while. Oh boy, this is not really what I expected. Okay. There we go. Alright. Progress. Good. But if you die, you just go all the way back to the start. Correct? Because that's very harsh. Oh, you fucking asshole! Holy shit! Whoa, I almost clipped through the, the wall. Thank God she didn't spot me there. Oh man.
Okay, good. And now stop, I guess. Oh boy, is she here? Is it fine to jump here? Seems like it's fine. Holy shit. That, that would kill me, right? So I need to... Uh-oh. I need to go fast. I don't want to redo all of this. I really don't. I definitely don't want to redo this. I'm gonna have to redo this. You fucking cunt. Okay, thank you. Statement retracted. Niflis, you're not a fucking cunt. That's fine. If that was like, reset the entire level, I would have been... done. Whoops. Oh man, I wonder how like, perfectly you have to do this. Because maybe a mistake early on will just set you up- Jesus. Set you up for failure in the later screens. Like, maybe this is- I'm doomed now? Or... Maybe it's like, you just have a set amount of time per screen, it doesn't matter how quickly you're going. No. What? Oh. He... doesn't care? What? I thought that was the entire point, that he was going towards me! Oh. It is. I see, you have to outrace the swordfish in order to be able to progress. Okay. So he's not actually going for me, but you... But you have to keep up with him, or keep ahead of him, even. Damn it, that hitbox. Yeah, it definitely feels like you need these early screens to go well, or you're kind of screwed. God damn. And shift doesn't do anything, does it? I'm just testing some stuff here. No, holding shift does not seem to do anything, okay. Well, I guess this is gonna be a little mini-series, because this seems to be... Oh my god, I'm screwed already. Might as well just quit. There's no way you can get ahead of him if you do that. It seems like this is actually gonna be a little bit of a... Oh my god! Uh, would you believe me if I just tell you that it's the controls? No? Probably not. They're extremely floaty. You have to, like, adjust so early when you want to do anything. Also, I feel like I just got completely fucked there and I couldn't do anything. I don't know if those are, like, RNG-based or if it's timing-based or something. Because, yeah. I was, like, blocked off permanently there. Oh, this is not good. Go, go, go! Okay, there we go! Nice! But now we're back to the bird stuff! Jesus Christ! And if I bounce up here, these birds will be pissed? No. Oh, okay, but they do hurt you. But that's fine. Just don't hit the birds, especially not the beaks. You can, like, hit them normally. Oh, and water is apparently bad, even though we just came from water and it was fine. Fair enough. Oh, shit. Alright, yeah, I, I definitely believe him when he says this is harder than most of his other games. Okay, don't die here. I said don't die. I said don't die, but you didn't listen.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, good. What now? What are you? What? Is that the dragon? Doragon? I guess that's Doragon. Oh, and I'm supposed to hit him. Okay, so that was like I did a point of damage. I didn't realize. Yeah, so there. And one more. Ah, crap. I don't know if you can, like, just keep... Hmm. When does he spit fire? Yeah, I guess it's not safe to do more than one attack, even though you can sometimes. Oh, it's like... If, if I make him spit fire and then turn around, he stops. Or something like that. And then he starts breathing more and more. Huh. This is weird. No, you fucking asshole. How many hits? How many hits? That's so many hits. Okay. I'm, I'm not doing anything else, am I? Like, I'm not supposed to try and land on him from higher up or something? Well, the fire goes through the blocks, so it's not really safe to do that. But I mean, maybe this works better. I don't know. Damn it. Now I can't hit him. There. Stop it. What are you doing? Jesus. No, you... Oh, man. Those, like, random fire breaths are just bullshit. How do you predict it? It's like, I'm already falling down. I can't stop when that happens. And then he just gets you. Yeah, like there, I almost died again. Okay, cool. Some uh, RNG as well. Can't say I'm a huge fan so far. Within a deep forest is a lot more... Oh my god, my tempo. Like, Within a Deep Forest has some kind of frustrating sections and very difficult things, but... Yeah, this, this is not really fair, I feel. With the controls and everything in this game, it just compounds into, like, kind of a lot of frustration. Like, that RNG stuff is not great. Nope. When is he gonna fire breathe? Apparently never. Apparently there. Yeah, it's it's impossible to tell as far as I I can tell. It's impossible to tell. You just have to hope that it doesn't happen when you're going. <sighs> Shit, that was almost bad. And again, fuck you! Fuck you! God damn! This is bullshit. This is not good at all. What the hell, Niflis? I guess it's his first game, or among the first, so he was learning and certainly improved a lot since then. I'm dead. Yeah, this is not great. I hope I just randomly picked the hardest level, but I doubt that's the case. Fuck you with your stupid random RNG bullshit. It's it's so dumb that he's just RNG based. 
And then, when he starts spitting fire, you actually can't do damage. I guess it's just to prevent, like, double hits or whatever. Stop. No! No, 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 fuck you! Oh man, if only he was consistent! If it was always like, he breathes fire after you hit him once, then it would be great. But this is just RNG on RNG on RNG, because it's like, when is he gonna do it, and when is it gonna go, and for how long is he gonna do it? You have no control whatsoever. This is just like a flip of a coin. Or more like a flip of like 10 coins in a row and you need them all to be heads. I might be fucked. Almost. Okay. Yeah, that's... Oh man. Am I even gonna be able to beat this game? Like, period? I don't know. That one little ember that just happens to stay around for much longer than all the other ones. What do you do? It was impossible to win. It was impossible to win. It was impossible to win. And don't you think your health bar is a little excessive, man? Like how many how many times have I hit him with my best run? It feels like I've hit him at least 10 times and it's still not been enough. And just keep going. Just randomly keep going for 10,000 years. Cuz why not? Why wouldn't you? Oh, nope. I tried to, like, slow down to hit him, but I couldn't. I, I, I'm I done. I think I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. This is bullshit and boring and stupid. So I'm just gonna come back to it. But I guess I'm gonna have to replay this entire level, but I'll do that off camera. Maybe I should just, like, say fuck this guy and just go somewhere else first, because this is just not fun. I guess I'm just gonna see if the other parts of the game are even remotely fun, because maybe I just don't want to play Mod Archive Story if it's like this. This is just not good. I know it's his first game, and it makes sense that Within a Deep Forest, like, improved on most of the aspects of this game, but, you know, I guess I was hoping for something. But so far, th this is nothing but frustration. Like, it's just poor controls that are too floaty, and too slow and sluggish to react, and you have very little control. I get that that's the challenge and the point, but it's just... That, alongside the horrendous RNG aspects, just make this not fun at all. So, very disappointing initial impression, but I'll give it a chance. Maybe I'm just cranky, I'm in a bad mood, it's compounded all the mistakes. If I come back next time, maybe I'll just magically be a master. Who knows? For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.